the state of having, owning, and controlling something. That is the meaning of the word possession. Possession is not as demonic as people think it is. This is your boy Herbert Kane giving you truth in this full form revolutionary doctrine of your shot. I'm talking about the modern day possession. Modern day possession is called social engineering, mind control, MK Ultra, and all that shit. And most people don't even know that they're put under mind control. Most people have been under mind control for generations. Some say over thousands of years. So what is possession today? Now, no matter what path you walk, you could be Christian, Muslim, Jew, or whatever, there's always something that was said to us that walks on our path. Because I'm a spiritualist. I don't fuck with no religion. But still, the same shit apply to us also. When we walk on our path, we are bombarded by distractions. We are bombarded by desires, fantasies. And most importantly, when you overcome the indulgences, the last thing that gets your ass is family. When the powers that be or the negative forces can't get you in no other way, they will use your family and possess them to make them think they doing the right thing and interfering in your life and bombarding you from where you need to be. Now, when you're a child, you have to listen to your parents. You have to grow up under their rule because at the end of the day, they are God and goddess and you are the son of God and goddess or, or, da or daughter of God and goddess. So we have to listen. But when you become grown, you become your own God and they become your servants. Now that is an occult knowledge. Yes, you listen to the parents, but when you get older, the parents must listen to you because now you are the head now. And some other cultures say other. But at the end of the day, when you become grown, you run the household. But we have been trained and indoctrinated to forget our past and our culture. Now, tell me that's not my control or possession. You used to be someone else. Now you're this person that's part of society or religion. When we ain't have no religion, what we had was the way of life. Nature and divine nature. Supernatural and the natural. Giving back to the earth and the earth gave back to us. Now we are possessed into doing bullshit. Now, what is the three forms of mind control? Or, or should I say the three forms of possession? The three forms of mind control is repetition. Repetition is they beat the shit out of us. Kill us. Strip us of our language and our name. Repetition just repeatedly all through slavery. All the way up to this day, repetition. While they doing that, they're telling us about Christianity. Read this book, Deuteronomy. They justify slavery. That's what they said. That's what they used. That's what was done. Using the book of Deuteronomy to justify slavery. Repetition, constant destruction of our race and our culture and our language. Forgot that we're supposed to be giving back to Earth, giving back to this universe. So now, number two, we got trauma. 
yeah, doing all that repetition of abuse and murder and, and destruction, now people are traumatized. And all that shit is up in here. Traumatized. When we used to use this eye, now we're forced to use these eyes, which lets us see the bullshit, the illusion. Now we're traumatized, which spread the, the fear through all generations. Hereditary fear. Spiritual fucking fear. And last but not least, symbolism. Symbols. Every book comes with a symbol, and the symbol was the cross. The symbol was Mary and Jesus. Mary holding Jesus when they stole that from ancient Kemet. They stole all this shit from ancient Kemet. Or the Black Madonna. There's even reptilian statues holding a child. Look it up. Look at my reptilian video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Anyway. The symbols. All these Christian symbols. Even the Catholic symbols. If Christianity was so true, why is there 12,000 different denominations of Christianity? You know, 12,000 different motherfuckers saying that another Christian is wrong when you're all Christian. Y'all fucking retarded. This is how we know that the confusion part, puzzles, mysteries, riddles, contradictions, symbolism, metaphors, and confusion, you got to read it in that form. But you was trained to take the Bible literally. At the end of the day, you don't even got to debate with anyone about this shit. This shit was forced on our people. At the moment we let go of this possession that we've been put under from the powers that be, or from religion itself, then we will go back to who we are, which are gods and goddesses. Now, in conclusion, because I don't want to make this video long. I want to talk about possession. Possession do not necessarily have to be dark forces and evil entities. Now, don't get me wrong. There are dark forces and evil entities fucking with people. But it's only because that people have been so traumatized from repetition and seeing a whole bunch of symbolism of, of, of bullshit that was placed upon their lives. No matter what it is. When you fucked up mentally, it is easy for you to be susceptible to forces that can use you to do shit that you normally don't do. Now, there has been cases, motherfucker, do something, motherfucker, like, damn, nigga, why I do that? Damn, I don't know why I did that. That means you've been possessed. This is normal fucking shit. Don't nobody gotta die or get hurt when you get possessed. It don't gotta be a fucking exorcist movie. This is fucking real shit. They will use your family to interfere. Your friends to interfere. People you're sleeping with to interfere and hinder you from your path. Now, this is why I say all cultures and all religions are not as bad because they all have truth. The, the fucking truth has just been scattered but the truth is this <sighs> the truth is when you grow detached from this world you will not have to worry about mind control you will see the people that are under the mind control. You will see everything in front of you for what it is. You will see people look like zombies or you see the brainwashed robotic routine that people are under. This is a form of possession. Smoking and drinking, fucking around every day, not doing nothing with your life, just a robotic crazy routine that is possession now 
when they use your family and your friends the entities do not have to use them to do wrong shit they can just use them to put the enemy at your doorstep or they can use them to try to price gouge you they can use them just to always just be begging you know when you clearly know that you can't ask them for the same shit they ask you for you know they can't do this shit for you the same thing you do for them so the possession <laughs> is real now which entity is doing it it all depends on the situation because there's multiple entities that do multiple things when you on your path and you know nothing can't fuck with you they will use who's ever close to you to try to get to you so like depending on the situation it could be wrath it could be envy it could be lust it could be uh shit greed it could be gluttony it could be pride or it could just be other shit so to finish off this conclusion because this is a part one because I'm going to get off into what type of entities do fuck with you in many different ways, shapes, or forms and what you need to look out for and what you need to do but like right now, this is just the beginning it's just the basic, get this shit out the way in conclusion, to finish this off deep down in each and every one of you y'all know who's right for you to be in your life and y'all know what's wrong so take time out to look <clears throat> at who's helping and benefiting your life and look at the ones who's not and start trimming the motherfucking fat and hang around people that think like you act like you you know what I'm saying they share the same vision you not necessarily have to agree with everything that you do or say but share different perspectives and have an open mind you know what I'm saying you know that's what it is everybody's minds are closed and everybody's minds that's closed that's susceptible for for possession instead of looking within themselves they looked out outward radio TV people that don't really do research you know just caught up in the bullshit in the political dogma and the religious dogma but let go of the dog mind just look within yourself and you won't be possessed so it's your boy Hurricane giving you a truth in this full form revolutionary doctrine is shot what is possession part one peace